Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back for another vlog. So today I'm gonna throw in the braided clutch line. I did get the long version. FTP, they released this and it's right around $27. And then I also got rear brake lines. I've done the fronts already. So I'm gonna install the rears, show you guys how to do that. It's very simple, so I'm not gonna you know record too much of it, but let's get started. So got a new uh, clutch master cylinder. Show you guys how to install that. If you notice the audio is a little bit better. I actually just picked up this uh, Boya mic. So shout out to them for that. And then we also got our braided clutch line. So we are gonna completely delete the clutch line that's stock. There's a giant hard line. I'll show that here in a minute. I'm gonna get the wheel off. And we're gonna delete all of that. So this is gonna go straight to the master down to the slave cylinder so it eliminates all of like the blocks that are there all of the uh the hard line and everything so i've seen people go with the short line and it does help out a little bit but nothing is going to be better than going with a long line there's no more restrictions or anything the pedal's always going to feel the same and it's gonna be perfect i've installed quite a few here at the shop so i figured it was time for me to finally get one also got the rear brake lines and these are about $25. I got both uh, sets of lines, so the rear brakes and the fronts, uh, clutch line and everything. That was around, I think it was like $64. Let me see what my invoice says. Both of the rear brake lines, as well as the, uh, the long clutch line, for around 62 bucks shipped. I mean, you can't beat it anywhere else. Z-Speed sells it for 45. That does not include shipping. And then the brake lines you can never really find under 30 bucks for the pair. So definitely hit up Fluid Transfer Products. I will put their link down in the description and you guys can order from there. Great group of guys. They can do literally anything, any color you want. You can do like red, green, blue, you name it. Then they have everything. If you need any kind of custom line, even if it's not a G35 or 350Z, you give them measurements, you give them the thread pitch, everything, and they can do it. Also, uh, check out this clean, clean FBRX7. We'll be working on that tomorrow morning, doing alignment on that for the shop. So down under there, that's where your master is. It's way down on the back. Where is it at? That's the brake master. Clutch master is down there. You can see the little rubber hose that goes to it right there. That's your reservoir. So under the reservoir, drain all the fluid first so it doesn't go everywhere. And then there's two bolts on the inside and that all pulls out. There is a hard line that goes to the master. And we'll take that off and route the line accordingly. I'll show you inside where the uh, two bolts are. So you have to undo the clevis, which is gonna be right behind the pedal. There's a long rod you can see the little bolt right down in there. That's where the adjustment is. You're gonna undo that. And then the two bolts on the back of the firewall. You see where the, uh, there's one bolt there, there's a bolt there. So undo this little pin, there's a little cotter pin through it. You can see the cotter pin, top left of the screen right there. Pull that out, that rod comes off, and then two bolts. So I found it easiest to remove the dead pedal. It literally just pulls right off. And then you're gonna have this rod go through where the uh, clutch pedal mounts to the master and then it's gonna have this pin through it so you just pull the pin out pull it out and then your pedal is completely free so you take off the slave cylinder and then you have the line there so you undo that banjo bolt you take off this clip and then you have to take off the whole hard line which is what I was talking about earlier you can see it's all of this little block here and it goes up into where the clutch master is all right so there you have it the new clutch master is in lines ran down through factory routing have everything secured up and it goes all the way down to the slave so there you have it it's installed sorry I didn't like really cover anything I mean it's pretty self-explanatory uh, I did show you guys where to take the bolts out and everything it's just very hard to get in there with a camera, uh, let alone trying to actually take the bolts out. It is a very, very tight fit. 
So uh, right now I'm actually gonna start. I have a um, air bleeder, so I'm going to suck out all the air and just keep adding fluid accordingly. I may manual bleed it, so we'll see how the first initial bleeding goes, and then if I need to, then I have Danielle here to help me. I told you. What are I we doing? I just fucking told you I didn't want to say it. Stop! What are we doing? We're going to do nothing if you don't say it. Are we bleeding the, bri uh, the clutch? Yes. Yeah? Mm-hmm. All right, start pumping. Mm, can't wait. <laughs> oh, my God! You have, oh, to, you have to pull it back up. I remember this. Oh. Right, pump it. Hold it. Are you at the floor? Yes. Pump it. Is it coming back up? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Sick. All right, we're done. <laughs> How's it going up there? Oh, it's going real well. How's the weather? Bud. It's a little hot. <laughs> yeah? Yep. You know that heat rises, right? Yep. Okay. And I'm a little tall. All right, so this is finally all tucked away. Got everything bled. Let me get a light for you guys here. So there's the line. Tried to keep it clean and simple. The line was a little shorter than the original. The original went right here. And this is actually tucked up a lot nicer. And here's the old line here. It was ugly. Look at all the restriction. I got the block, all these curly QS lines. Jordy, are you down, 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 down? What's up, baby? How was your uh, trip up top? <laughs> All good. Clutch metal feel good? Yes. Sick. Send it. So after testing the car out, after I got done installing everything. The clutch, I have a uh, stage four six buck, so it's pretty aggressive for street driving or dailying like the car. And after doing the line, the line feels amazing. The car feels like I have a stock clutch, but still has all of the clamping force and everything as it did before. It's much easier, much more streetable. So 10 out of 10, definitely recommend the line. Definitely check out FTP and uh, pick one up today. Uh, they aren't sponsoring this video. They're, they had no part of any of this. Uh, I did purchase the line through them. I'm just relaying the message to you guys because I want to help you guys out. So, so that's going to finish it up for us today, guys. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.